Howdy, my name is Timmy, here with Sirius Power PC, and in this week's video, I'm going to show you how to install a graphics card onto your motherboard. This should be a fairly universal, one-size-fits-all tutorial, but you can feel free to let me know in the comments section down below if we don't cover how to install your specific type of graphics card onto your motherboard. Now, before we get into any of this tutorial, I would recommend if you're building your PC that you install the graphics card on the later end of things. I would recommend doing as much cable management as you can before you install the graphics card because especially depending on how big your graphics card is, a couple ports on your motherboard will be more difficult or even impossible to access once you have installed your graphics card. So go ahead, do as much of the build as you can before you install the graphics card. Now, in this tutorial, we I actually have the box right up here from when I built it, are going to be building with the Asus 4060 Ti graphics card. This is a dual overclockable graphics card with eight gigabytes of VRAM. Once you get that bad boy unboxed and it probably came in an anastatic bag, so make sure you're wearing an anastatic wrist strap before you handle the graphics card. Go ahead, completely get it unboxed, and then locate the proper PCIe lane on your motherboard. You want to install the graphics card in the PCIe lane that is closest to your CPU because typically a motherboard is gonna have one really, really fast lane, and that's going to be the PCIe lane that is close to your CPU or closest to your CPU, and then the other lanes won't necessarily be quite as fast. So locate the lane that fits your graphics card, which should be the PCIe X16 lane, and make sure that there's nothing in the actual connection slot itself before you install this graphics card. I was building in the Sirius A PC case. Because this is a dual graphics card, it is going to take up two lanes. So go ahead and unscrew the back part. There, there may be a lot, every case is different. If you aren't sure on your specific case how to take the GPU covers off, just Google your case GPU cover remover, and that will show you how to take those little metal parts out of your case. That way you can properly fit your case. Not all graphics cards, by the way, are going to require you to open up two of those, but a lot of modern graphics cards do require two GPU brackets to be taken out of your case. Next, go ahead and line up your graphics card to the PCIe lane. Make sure there's nothing on the gold leaf of the graphics card that could potentially mess with contact between the gold leaf at the bottom of your graphics card and the PCIe lane. Then go ahead and press, never force the graphics card, but press firmly until you hear a click. That click is indication that your graphics card has successfully mounted and that the leaf has successfully mounted into that PCIe lane. You can wrap up by screwing the graphics card into the little holes on the back of your case. This will support your graphics card and keep your GPU from sagging, which is a big, big issue. You do not, especially if you have a heavier graphics card, you do not want that graphics card to bend downward in your case and potentially ruin the PCIe lanes on your motherboard. Once that's screwed in, go ahead and locate the proper connectors on your power supply to power your graphics card. And then during the cable management phase of your build, go ahead and plug in those proper connectors to your graphics card. And if you followed all of those steps, you should be home free, able to use your graphics card and gain in glory. If this tutorial helped you, consider leaving a like to see more of our tutorials like this, as well as subscribing to show your support to the channel and let you not miss any weekly videos like tutorials, PC builds, and upcoming exciting stuff that we have planned. Be sure to visit us at SeriousPowerPC.com if you have any PC questions, if you're looking at getting a gaming PC, or if you just want to talk about what you think the best option for your budget would be consider looking around. We have a really, really wide selection. In fact, I just last week made a video talking about some of our best PCs for different price ranges. That video is in the top right hand of the screen on the card now, if you want to click on it. But thank you all so, so much for watching this week's tutorial. My name is Timmy, here with Sirius Power PC, and be sure to visit us next week for a brand new video.